Hi everyone, I'm Olivia Nash Richardson. If you don't know me, I'm in the business of making your bucket list come alive. I have with me today Jan Sortland. He is one of my trusted colleagues on the ground in Oslo, Norway. He is here today as my first guest on my video series, Dare to Dream. As you can guess, our destination this week is Norway, and I'd like to introduce you to this beautiful country. People look at the calendar differently in Norway, where each week's number tells them how many hours of daylight to expect. It is a long and skinny country with over 64,000 miles of coastline, if you include its many islands, and nearly 1,200 fjords, deep, dramatic inlets, bounded by steep, rocky cliffs. This topography of mountains and fjords has defined the country and has brought us to our topic today. Hiking in Norway. Today I have with me on my first interview for Dare to Dream series, Jan Sortland. He is one of my trusted virtuoso colleagues on the ground in Oslo, Norway, and he is here with me today. Hi Jan, how are you? I am just fine, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Since we cannot travel right now, I want to open a window to the world for people at home who are social distancing or physical distancing. Jan was so gracious to take a lot of time with me last week to talk about every Norwegian's favorite pastime, being in nature. They call it friluftsliv, being one with mother nature. As you can see, this scenery is stunning. And what better way to immerse oneself than a hike? All skill and ability levels can take advantage of the outdoors, not just avid trail runners, extreme athletes, or nomadic backpackers. All it takes is a little planning and a good guide. Um, but I will say that hiking in Norway is really uh, a world-class experience. It's we love nature. We feel at home in nature. Like for example, it is the innermost part of those fjords that is has this amazing scenery. That's what, where you want to go. And no matter what you do, you will always be surrounded by the most breathtaking scenery. Jan has been creating unforgettable experiences in Scandinavia for over 20 years. His passion is to share with visitors the many incredible hikes and moments in nature that bring such peace, especially in times like these. Norway offers beautiful scenery, but the best, Jan explains, is found beyond the tourist meccas like Pulpit Rock or Trolltunga. And to find them, having a guide is critical. But the downside is that then you will you will walk together with thousands of other people. You will walk in, in a queue, in, in, in a line. And that is not the kind of uh, experience with nature that I would love to give to your clients. He explained that Pulpit Rock is more like what Americans might recognize when it comes to hiking, well-marked trails, boardwalks, and oftentimes crowds. It's, it's, it's not like in the national parks in the US where it's kind of paved and arranged and wide, easy, even uh, paths or, or uh, walkboards or something, you know. Uh, it's not organized. Uh, I really strongly recommend that you have a private local expert guide um, because although safe in itself and very, very beautiful, there are dangerous things. Like, for example, there are, you can, you know, obviously in an area with a lot of mountains and, and um, high cliffs and, and peaks, you can suddenly, the, the trail can maybe lead you to an unmarked um, cliff or person. Mm -hmm. Like a deep chasm or something like that. that yes, would be exactly. Oh my gosh. Well, you sound like you have to be maybe an Olympic athlete to enjoy this. No, that is really the, one of the very unique things about Norway. It is the diversity because Norway offers amazing hiking experiences from, for all levels. It's one of the reasons why I'm so excited about hiking in Norway. It is because it is for everyone. You know, even 
even a grandma of, of 85 that maybe only have capacity for a little short uh, walk uh, on even ground. She can be outdoor and, and really have an amazing um, encounter with nature. Yes, it is right. Norway is really a, a very special waterfall destination. And it's also true that Iceland has a lot of wonderful uh, waterfalls, uh, absolutely. But out of the 10 largest waterfalls in the world, Norway have five of those. Anyway, you see waterfalls in Norway in summertime, wherever you turn. How much time should they plan? I think they should, um, if they can, I think they should plan 10 days because okay. Norway is a, it's, um, a large country, but it's a small nation okay. and, so, and also surface travel in Norway takes uh, quite a lot of time. So you need, um, uh, you need time to see in, in Norway. And also we don't want this to be a rushed experience. You know, we want you to kind of relax and, and breathe deep and lower your shoulders and, uh, and kind of, we, we want this to be a transformational experience. There's so much beauty to, to look at Norway and also experience like um, visiting uh, locals. We have some really amazing uh, restaurants that are world class. Um, that's even another topic, it is kind of uh, gourmet Norway because uh, that will be, is also such a big a pleasant surprise for uh, our clients that, uh, that the food here is really, really amazing. Well, I Jan made it very clear through our conversation that part of the Norwegian culture is the idea of self-sufficiency. So naturally, foraging is something that you should try when you're there. Not just the chance to get out, slow down and enjoy nature, but to find some of the most fresh and delicious food available. Can you imagine a villa stay that would have a chef take you out foraging for your next meal? Yeah, fully stuffed, so you will have a private chef that will take care of you and, um, and cook all your meals. And he can also take you out foraging. And pick yeah, that's you cool. Yes, really, really cool. And um, and um, it depends on the season, you know, when, when you're there, uh, whether it's in, in, it can be herbs and, and you find things in the nature. Um, or and, and and also you can he will take you go fishing and catching crabs and uh, other things from the ocean and then um, you will bring it to the chef and he will create the most wonderful dishes for you out of the the ingredients you have picked and collected yourselves where you have the beautiful stunning scenery with the where where the mountains go straight up from the ocean and wherever you turn it's just gorgeous, stunning, and, right. and we have all this space that is filled with breathtaking scenery. You there is fantastic. When summer arrives in Norway, life seems more simple, but outdoors, the grandness of nature envelops you. The days don't just seem endless, they are, especially in the north where the sun hovers just above your horizon all night long. This is a bucket list worthy trip that is enjoyed simply and grandly from a cosmopolitan city to the edge of untamed forest. A trip that is warmed by the locals and drives forward by the compelling beauty of the land. And um, I think that hiking in Norway should be on everybody's wander list. And honestly, I'm ready to go whenever that time comes. So I wanna thank you so much for being generous with your time prepping this and, and filming it. And, and thank you for coming on today and sharing all of your insight. Well, it's, thank you so much for having me. It's lovely to, to talk with you, Olivia. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Well, thank you again so much. Everybody, Jan Sortland, he is one of my amazing virtuoso partners, someone I've known for a couple of years. Um, met him at, a, at ILTM in Cannes several years ago, and he's been my good friend ever since. So someone I trust wholeheartedly to take great care of my clients. <laughs> like you who believe in the power of travel so he really does help me make bucket lists come alive so that's it everybody first edition of dare to dream in the books uh hiking in norway who's in i think it should be a group trip anybody want to join me uh let's tune in next week 
for the next installment of Dare to Dream, opening a window on the world. And if you're interested in getting the Dare to Dream email, head on over to my website, nashtravelmanagement.com and sign up for the email there. Uh, Dare to Dream is a weekly email, not more. And that's where I curate a lot of really interesting experiences, uh, videos, music, food, all those things you're going to be able to explore from that email. And any guesses as to where I'll be taking you next week? Well, enjoy the content for Norway this week. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and YouTube. I am Olivia Nash Richardson, travel advisor and author of Your Next Great Adventure. Until next time, everybody stay safe, stay healthy. And above all, keep dreaming. Until next time. Bye, Jan. Thank you. Bye, Bye. everybody. This. I use this so I know when I'm taking in between cuts. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Okay. Cut. I gotta let my dog in.